This is Innisfail High School, about 100 kilometres south of Cairns. And unfortunately, they were the worst hit during Cyclone Larry, and this is where we come in. We're about to embark on an incredible journey to completely rebuild and transform their existing schoolyard into an outdoor wildlife refuge, complete with marsupials, insects, fish and birds. It will be incredible. We've got wetland areas. We've even got an outdoor environmental science lab. This will be just fantastic. There's just one small problem. We are going to need some help. What do you reckon, guys? You up for it? Well, have a look at this site. We have got people coming from everywhere. We've got local industry helping out the timber yards. We've got students going to be working as well. Machinery going, arborists, semi-trailers in the playground. This school's never seen anything like it. We've got that many volunteers. I've bumped into a bloke I know. What about this? Hello, it's mate. Jake Wall. Hello. How about that, mate? Chippy. I know. I'm going to swap the ice skates for a nail bag, mate. Beautiful, buddy. I can't believe you're doing this to me. I've been dealing for seven years with a glamour boy. And now I've got another one. I'm gonna give it all of my love. And it's gonna take up all of my love. I'm gonna give it all of my love. And it's gonna take up all of my love. Now, as Jamie said, we want to try and get the kids involved with this project as much as possible. After all, it is their school. And with my perfect tertiary education, I'm definitely the right teacher to learn and proper, isn't it? My name is Mr. Cam, right? You can call me Sir. <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt the class, but look, we wanted to get some ideas from you guys because, as you know, we're regenerating the whole rainforest area and we wondered if there's anything that you guys would like to see in there. Yeah. Um, we need more birds and animals in the area. OK. What would be a great idea is we could perhaps put some nesting boxes in up high in the trees. Now, the only thing is I'm scared of heights, so there's no way I'm going to get up in the trees. That's more like Jamie, because, you know, he's a bit of a monkey, James. <laughs> what about you give me a hand building the boxes and painting them? Is that a good deal? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. The rainforest is a bit of a mess. What's a way to see all the birds and animals? We thought we might run a bit of a, uh, a boardwalk, wandering and meandering through the whole rainforest area. So, as opposed to standing out and looking from the outside, we can get inside there and wander through and have a look at everything in there. So that should be pretty good, I think. Is the best. Bit louder. Is the best. We love noise. I love me. It's important to let you know here that the kids have been involved in this design right from the very start. There's a wetland area going right into the centre here and a boardwalk going over the top of it with a study area that ends up in that outdoor scientific environmental lab. It will be fantastic. Now, directly behind that, they've got some fish tanks which sit outside. Now, the main wetland area connects to a boardwalk that runs all the way through that forest, which they planted out in 1978. Now, as they come back through, there's an amphitheatre with a stage. It's got everything. going to be known as the Compass Court and it's a large area of paving and in it we're going to mark a north point out of the pavers. It's all part of the educational thing for the kids and the other thing of course is if they get a little bit disoriented when they're in school they can come out here and go oh that's right north's over there. Jake, mate, how you going? Hey, mate. Hey, the world's biggest job for you. No, it's my first blitz and it's the biggest job you've That's done. That's right, mate. Now, what are you doing to me? Give us the stats on the job. Mate, well, we've got 500 bolts in this deck we're doing. Oh, we've got 600 bags of cement, $70,000 worth of timber, 2,000 batten screws, 200,000 litres of water. We've also got 3,000 plants and 400 square metres of turf. Mate, and that's just the start of it. That's right. So, so what do you think? Can we do it? You're right, mate. You're right. That's why I brought you here. OK, now I hear you asking, 
how did all of this come about? Well, the Aussie Junior Landcare Project was a pilot test case developed by Landcare Australia. Now, they're working in conjunction with the Department of Environment and Heritage, as well as Education Queensland. Now, their goal is to inspire school kids to get involved in environmental projects across Australia. And of course, we're starting with energy consumption, water management and land management. It's just a practical way to get kids in schools involved in practical, on-ground projects to look after their landscapes. Uh, we call them learnscapes because they can actually get to do curriculum activities as well as having a fantastic environment in which to learn and study and, you know, hang around at school. And the good news for other schools around Australia is that they can apply for funding to do similar projects just like the one we're doing here at Innisfail State High. So come on kids, rev up the teachers and get involved because the future of our environment is in your hands. What are you doing with this log, girls? Um, we're making a bird's nest. Is that a, uh, just have a, is that a, like there's a spider in there? Look out, no! <laughs> <laughs> Going over here. Yeah, missing. Thank you. Hey, how are you? No respect. Well, this is either the beginning or the end of our boardwalk, whichever way you want to look at it. This is going to be a round sort of stage that looks onto a new amphitheatre, which is going to be mounted up so the kids can perform or do whatever they want to do in the amphitheatre. But as you can see, the boardwalk itself goes for about 100 metres through the jungle. You can see all these posts. It goes right through there, around the corner, back down the other side, and ends up at the slab, which is the sci-fi hut that we're pouring over there. There's a heap of posts in ground. Apparently, 10 pallets of rapid set is going into this boardwalk. So we've got lots to do. We want to actually try and get all the posts in today. And that's exactly what Jake and I are doing right now. Guys, I think it's time that Jake did his own little piece to camera and updated the viewers and told them exactly where we are Good idea. in the project. What do you reckon, Good mate? Luck, mate? No worries, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'll be right, I'll be we'll right. We'll be right, right. We'll be right yeah, over right. there if you need us, mate. Thanks, mate. No pressure. Right. No just pressure. take a seat, you just take a seat. No, we'll just no so take it away, Jake. Speak to the viewers. Well, guys, it's near the end of the day, and as you can see, we were going pretty well, thanks to all the support of all the tradesmen all the volunteers and especially the kids. But mate, I think we've had a bit of a problem. I think the wetlands were meant to be over here, mate. But for some reason, they're, they're 20 metres that way. Uh, you're very right, and we have hit a pipe. The plumber's on his way. Whilst he's on his way, what did you say? We give him a score. Yes! Yes! Oh my God. Fantastic yes. Yes. Mate, four! Five! Oh, like you. Oh, like you. Of course you're a chippy champion. A six! That's oh. a top score! Now listen, I've got someone to introduce to you. Oh, introduce. Yes. Come on over. Come on, Jones. Oh. Here she is. Oh. Rick, oh, she's oh, back. Oh, oh, back. Oh, back. What, now, what happened? Oh, I just was a little bit under the weather. I thought I'd better rest up. Well, I've got a little surprise for you. Oh, you oh. ask and you will receive. <laughs> I think receive. I'm blushing. Here he is. Oh, oh, yeah, you yeah. Sure. I have yeah. to make the most of it. That should keep her occupied yeah, at nice least touch. a half day. Nice it's going to be beautiful. Mate. I reckon nice that Joe's the happiest girl in the universe. <laughs> 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 One of the most important things with this project is the recycling and clever use of natural materials. For example, the timber that got blown over in the cyclone from the rainforest here, but by the way, that was put in 30 years ago, we're going to reuse in the wetland area, lay it around the outsides to create homes for the frogs. And that's the sort of thing that you might not have seen, say, 20 years ago. Stuff would have just got taken to the tip, but not anymore. And the other thing we're going to do here is to harvest the rainwater off the new science lab. We're going to collect the water. It's going to be fed into the barramundi tanks. And when that overflows, we're going to then feed that water into the wetland area here. And the overflow from that, when it eventually happens, and it will happen because they get a lot of rain here, that will then flow out into the river system, which is exactly what you see in the natural environment. It is absolutely perfect. This